Hey everyone, Nick Walsh here from LiveX, and today we are going to be unboxing the Vidu Go. Now the Vidu Go is an update to Teradex old Vidu, which gave you access to one cellular LTE modem. Now you could plug in a second one, which also gets you on core. So let's take a look inside. So opening it up here, Teradex makes really, really great cases, so this is no exception. Um, what you'll see inside here are these Telna cards. We'll get into this in a sec, but these are really, really cool. Um, got all these manuals over here. One thing to notice is it gives you $500 in core credit, um, so that will give you a ton of bandwidth uh, for streaming with. So that's super awesome to get you started on your core account. Um, comes with an HDMI. Comes with this charger for USB-C. Um, this is a powered by USB-C, um, so it's a good note to have. So you could use this for like your MacBook charger if that's one of the computers you have. Uh, also, two nodes here. I really like these better than the Bond nodes, and I'll get into why in a minute. Uh, but they look really, really fancy. Um, then over here is the actual video. It's a little bit bigger than the old one, I'd say, um, and it's finished very, very well, and we'll get a deeper look in a minute. Um, also in here are some Ethernet cables, some international plugs for the uh, brick charger, um, also a little SDI spring cable, and a bunch of antennas. There's no way I'll ever get this to look pretty, so just bear with me, guys. <laughs> um, a shoe mount, so you could attach this to a camera. Um, and then this is a SIM adapter for SIM cards that you have that are different sizes, and it gives you a really great uh, tool so you could take the SIM card in and out. All right, so now let's take a deeper look at all of the stuff we just took out. So I'm going to set this case off to the side here. And let's look inside. Uh, we talked about Ethernet and HDMI cables, SDI cables. That's pretty cool. Uh, get you started there. What I do notice is there's no USB-C cable. So I actually don't know, unless it's like wrapped up in this or something, I don't know how I'll actually initially power this um, right now, which is pretty interesting. I guess they're assuming everyone has a USB-C cable. Oh, unless that's what's in here. Ah. There you go, here's the USB-C cable. It's a regular USB-C to USB-C, so I could plug this in over here. So I'm gonna get rid of the cables now. Um, bunch of antennas. I'm actually gonna put this thing together so you guys can take a look at what it looks like. Um, so these are the nodes. Um, as these antennas roll away, no, don't go little guy, okay. These are the nodes. I really like these better than the Bond ones because the Bond ones actually have USB to LAN connectors. Um, so they kind of just don't look nice. Uh, just purely aesthetics. These look like they actually lock into place and look like extensions to the unit that you have, which I think looks really, really great. Um, granted, the Bond has more, so it needs the flexibility and space. But um, I do like the way that this looks. So for according to the pictures, it looks like it just slides into the side here, um, just like that. Um, and so it has two antennas and then a SIM card uh, on each of them. So you'll put these tiny antennas on. You'll put over here. Just like so. Um, and this will get you good range uh, I for uh, your cellular. Um, it also can work over Wi-Fi. Um, so you'll be able to pull in any Wi-Fi signal if you want to. Um, maybe I would just do Wi-Fi for control if I want to tap into its IP address. I wouldn't really want to stream off of it, but you can bond um, the cellular with your Wi-Fi or with an Ethernet um, cable. So I'm going to plug the antenna over here, and we'll get back to this last. Um, I'm going to get rid of the manuals here, um, core credit, all the international cables. These SIM card adapters, don't really need these right now. Um, it does look like it comes with these Telna LTE SIM cards. And these are really great because they are platform agnostic. They'll actually choose whatever it has best reception with and switch to that network. It doesn't have every single network on it. I believe it's just AT&T and T-Mobile. Uh, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's really, really great because now you don't need to go sign up for a cell service or a phone uh, to get these to work. Now you could just use the Telna and go through their service um, and you just pay them some kind of monthly fee and you could get access to whatever network. So it's really, really great for broadcast. I'm very glad that they um, have these included in the Teradek video you go. So I'm going to put this off to the side as well as the shoe mount and the power adapter and let's take a deeper look at this. So this is the Teradek Vidu. Um, you could see on the bottom here a screw mount and a fan. So this is so you could attach it to a camera um, via the shoe mount. 
Um, flipping it over here and looking at the I.O. over here, it looks like you have an HDMI in, uh, which you could use for any HDMI camera, as well as a 3G SDI. So that'll get you up to 1080 60p. Um, you could also connect it to a wired internet here um, through this port. And here's the USB type C. There's also this input for audio. Um, so you could do this if you want to add audio. And I believe you could also use it as a talkback if you want to use cloud as your communications. Um, and also a headphones jack so you could hear what it's getting. On the other side is an OLED screen where you could actually run streams off of from here. There's the menu functions on the side as well as the on button and the record button, uh, which also could start the stream. So with the Video Go, you'll get a Core subscription. And Core is really great. It's their cloud management. Um, so you could actually remote connect to this in the cloud and uh, change any settings on this remotely. Um, and you could also use Core for your bonding. Um, all of your video that gets cellular, bo cellular bonding um, goes through Core, and then you could set up destinations to as many source, as many um, places as you like, like a Facebook or YouTube. Um, you can go direct from this, however. If you want to just do an RTMP direct, uh, you could do that. But here's a caveat. This gives you access to HEVC, which is a really fantastic codec um, that Apple's been getting really into um, that actually promises the same quality as H.264 for half the bit rate. So it's really great in internet situations that are not so good. Um, so it's really fascinating for a device like this to have HEVC. However, you can't go directly to Facebook or YouTube because they require an RTMP, which is not capable of handling HEVC at this moment. So um, for now, you'll have to use Core um, to send HEVC through Core and then have have them transcode it to H.264 before you could send it to Facebook. So you'll have to use that service for any transcoding needs, but it's a really, really great solution if you don't have good internet. Um, and yeah, and that's the Teradek Video Go. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us below for more unboxing videos. See you next time.